All right, so we just want to find the location of where we're going to mount the control box. So we want to make sure it's at least three meters away from the pool. It's got to be nice and close to the pump and a power outlet because we don't want to use any extension leads. Uh, I've chosen location up here on the piece of wood. It's nice and visible and it's also nice and easy to mount for this one. So let's get started. Begin by lifting up the tabs on the back of the controller. Get a marker and mark the location where you're intending to screw the controller into. Just make sure the controller is nice and level as you make your marks. Take two screws, screw them in position. And let's take the control box and mount that in. You can do the screws up a little bit tighter to make it nice and secure. And then we can plug it into the wall. So now we'll plug the pump in. For this one, it's an independent system. So we're just gonna plug the solar pump into the socket marked pump. If it was a retrofit system, we wanna plug the chlorinator into the second port. So now we're gonna install the pool sensor. This is the blue lead and it's got a uh, the socket is marked pool on the uh, controller here. So all we need to do is straighten this cord out, plug the blue one into the pool Keep the wire a little bit neat. Work out a location for where you want to install. I'm going to drill through here. For a 14 mil drill, run it in reverse. Clean out any swarf. Now we're just going to lubricate the hole. Remove the grommet, lubricate the grommet, push that one in, and then push the sensor in place. There we go. Now you want to install the red roof sensor. This sensor is installed on the roof close to the installed solar coils. Keep it about a half meter from the gutter and do not install it on the collector itself. Just add a bead of silicon to the roof and press the sensor down firmly. You will then want to secure the lead back down to the pump house using cable ties. With cable ties, we can now plug the hot roof sensor into the digital control box. If you need to, make sure you use some more cable ties to secure everything into place. It's now time to turn the solar controller on. For instructions on how to set the pool temperature and switching the controller into winter mode, please check the enclosed instruction manual in the box.